Hey guys, how's it going? It's Molly. I'm here today to do a new makeup releases video. Uh, so I filmed this last week and then I just, life got crazy and I didn't get around to editing. And then everything was like, I don't know. I don't know. It just, it wasn't a very good video. Uh, I kind of, it was one of those videos where I just sat down and wasn't prepared. Like I hadn't even really looked at Instagram. And so uh, it was all over the place. Today, I wanted to refilm and talk about some other products anyways um, that have come out since then. Um, and I have looked at many of these, not all of them. Some of them were flying by the seat of our pants, but generally speaking, I'm a little bit more familiar. So, of course, I have not updated my Instagram and I need to do that. Stop it. Okay, so I'm going to start off. <clears throat> I'm going to start off with Makeup Releases Radar. Um, there are, this page, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I like it because we've got indie, but then also mainstream. Um, so I like to kind of look between here as well as Trend Mood and sometimes dupe that and some others. Um, I have my coffee, thank God. <laughs> okay, first up, this is a brand that I've never heard of. It's called Bunky Beauty. I don't know much about it. I don't know if they're cruelty free or not. Um, I hope they are because these palettes are beautiful. So they've got three different five pan eyeshadow palettes. These are multi-chrome shades. Um, they're $30 a piece. How are they doing that? If you're familiar with indie brand multi-chromes, you know like Cleona charges anywhere from like eight to 21, I think, 22, a shade. So either there's very little product in here or she's cutting us a really good deal, I don't know. Um, she has an Etsy page. I need to scoot over. I know, I, I know. Whoops. All right, pictures here. Uh, she does have an Etsy, shade, an Etsy page. Give me a freaking break. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to mention, she did post on her stories, I think yesterday, I'm filming this on Monday, so on Sunday, she posted on her stories that they sold out. Um, or maybe I just saw it yesterday. I, tomato, tomato. Um, point is, they're sold out, but she is getting more of the, I'm guessing the empty palettes in so she can place the eyeshadows in there so yeah you bet your butt i am going to get one of these or all of them i don't i don't need all of them i don't need all of them i want to try one of them for 30 dollars and then see that's where we're at okay next up let's talk about color pop i feel like it's been a minute since color pop has released anything really like interesting to me oh that's not true that chalk box of chocolate collections i'm getting that um I'm getting that. Uh, and then there was another one, a collaboration with somebody that I actually I might talk about that later. So just they're starting to release more and more interesting things is what I'm trying to say. This is the their holiday 2022 collection. They're collaborating with the Muppets. And I think that it is absolutely adorable. I definitely want it. It's available on November 17th. So today is November 8th. No, it's not. My computer is very confused. <laughs> what is today? Today's the 14th. I don't, um, why do computers do that? If a computer says that it's a certain date that it's not, it probably just needs to be restarted. Anyways, uh, so here's what we have. We've got a, it says eyeshadow palette. Somewhere else, I think maybe Trend Mood was calling it a pressed powder palette. Pressed powder palette, pressed powder palette. Um, I, so I don't know. I don't know if they're eye safe or not. Usually when you see pressed powder palette, that means that it's not, it can't be called eyeshadow because it's not eye safe. There's something in it. So I was thinking maybe one of these is a pressed glitter. It kind of looks like the upper corner ones might be pressed glitters, um, but I, I don't know. Um, so we've got that for $26. Uh, initially I was like, no, I don't think so. But the more that I look at this, the more I'm like, yes, I think I might like, uh, specifically I am drawn to that sparkly green shade on the bottom row. 
it's beautiful. Um, sorry, there's an airplane flying low and I was like, what is happening? It, it kind of freaked me out. Uh, then we got four Super Shock Shadows, $9 a piece. Their prices have gone up. Didn't those used to be five bucks? Uh, prices everywhere have gone up, I know. Um, we've got a glitter gel and uh, four glowing lips for $9 a piece. A glitter gel is 10. I have never heard of the glowing lip formula and I don't know that I want to try it. I've just, I don't know, man, ColourPop lips. They're just straight bullet lipsticks are good, but the rest of the stuff, I don't, I don't know. I get weird, uh, like butthole lips when I use, like I have a lippy stick that I love it at first, but then as it, like after a couple hours, I've got like this rim of, I think skin cells and lipstick, like on the inner portion of my lips and it, it's not a good look. I guess that's not what butthole lips mean. Butthole lips means when they're really dry, right? Dry and like wrinkled. I'm using the term incorrectly. I apologize. <laughs> it's very technical. Um, anyways, I get that weird like collection of skin <laughs> on the inside of my lips whenever I use ColourPop lip products and that makes me sad. Um, so I don't, mm, I'm not, I'm not super curious about them. I'm sure these probably don't even, won't even do that. They look like they're probably similar to those elf lippies, the, just the sheer sort of balmy lip product, which is great. And the red is kind of calling to me because I love reds that are that formula. Just, or like a berry. Oh, but anyway. This is, it's, this is adorable. So maybe I will, okay, all right. You twisted my arm. I'm thinking I'm getting the eyeshadow palette and the, the red glowing lip. That's it though. Cause I don't need a glitterly obsessed because I don't use glitter in that. I, I just, I don't often, sometimes not often. It would totally dry out before I got to the part, point of using even a smidge of it. Okay, let's talk about this. Macy's, what? <laughs> Come on. This is their, first of all, well, I'll tell you what it is. It's their Thanksgiving Parade, Parade, Parade Confetti Collection. Thanksgiving Parade, Col Thanksgiving Parade Confetti Collection. Why is that hard to say? I don't know, but it is. Um, first of all, I didn't even know that Macy's had makeup. Okay, so not super keen on trying it. Uh, we've got a 12 pan eyeshadow palette for $20. It is the uh, eyeshadow palette that nobody needs. Not a single soul. Now, if this was from a brand whose formula I knew and loved and was just like, this is amazing, I might, but I, no, I still wouldn't because we've got one, two, three pale white shades. And then we've got two, it looks like champagne shimmers. So there's just, there's too many duplications to, to justify getting this. I, who needs this? Nobody needs this. Then there's a lip balm set. So it's no pigment, it's just lip balm. Uh, and apparently you have to get the whole set. You can't just choose the flavor you want. We got vanilla, peppermint, or cinnamon, not or and because you can't buy them separately, like I said. Uh, and then a brush set, which is the only thing in here that screams confetti to me. The rest of it is not confetti. I don't know about you, but when I think of confetti, I think of like color and, or, or like interesting textures. I guess confetti can be any color, really. But traditionally, I think of different colors or different finishes different something and this just it's not living up to the name it just isn't okay and then we got a sponge scent if you want five sponges for $25 two makeup bags $25 a piece and these look stupid and a water globe okay the water globe let me see that I don't need it I don't need a water globe 
Oh, computer generated swatches. How how fun. The makeup bags are really ugly and there's not even a picture of the water globe. Get out of here, Macy's. Um, I would also like to call attention to these swatches. These aren't real, so don't uh, mm -mm. don't think, oh, those look beautiful. No, they don't. Those are computer generated color swatches. These are not actual swatches. I just don't, I, I don't, mm. no. And if any of you think you need it, you're wrong. Just kidding, maybe you do, I. You do you, boo. I have no idea. Um, there's a lot of brands here that I don't know about. Okay, IT Cosmetics has their annual um, Heavenly Lux Flower Power Foundation Brush. That's not what this has been called in the past. I don't know what this has been called in the past, but it's the heart-shaped foundation brush. And uh, most of the time it gets rave reviews. There was one year that it like wasn't domed and people were just not having it. Uh, but this appears to be domed and really nice. Uh, I kind of want to get it. I don't know that I love the flowers, though. I vacillate between loving and hating them. So I'm not sure. It's $30 at Ulta, I believe. Or maybe it's at It's. Like the brand. Okay. Viseart. Viseart is releasing some more Pedophore. Uh palettes these are adorable so it says I want to say somewhere else the one thing about makeup releases radar that I will say that I don't like is they she doesn't provide a lot of information she's at least providing prices now which is nice but trend mood I mean she writes like a, a, no, a novella about the products um which is maybe a little much but still anyways this these are gorgeous freaking gorgeous and I want them um we've got Amelie Lila Do Violetta I have no idea how to pronounce anything um they're $25 a piece are available now uh ew. I definitely want the Violetta I think that's what that is I'm assuming we're going in order here that it goes left to right Amelie Lila Do Some French person somewhere, if they were to hear me, not some French, every single uh, person who lives in France, um, and even many who don't, if they were to hear me try to pronounce things, they would die. Um, anyway, I yeah, I, mm, I kind of want all of them but the middle one. The middle one, I'm like, man, no. Are there swatches? Swatches? <gasps> there are. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, I definitely, okay. After looking at swatches, what I really want is that last one, the deep and sultry one. That's beautiful. So yeah, those are gorgeous. I did purchase, Camera Ready Cosmetics is doing like an early Black Friday sale and I recently picked up a Viseart, the Violet and Nintendo uh, palette and I haven't gotten it yet, but I've heard really good things about it, and I'm very excited about it. I've never tried Viseart before. I've wanted to. Their swatches kind of throw me for a loop, though, because the swatches don't look that good. Ever. Kind of. Ever. But I'm hoping that the formula is as nice as people say it is. Okay, Lisa Eldridge is releasing five eyeshadow palettes for the holidays, which is kind of exciting. Like feel like she had a hit this year with her is it the velvet lipsticks vel yeah yes no uh she's releasing five more of those as well but anyways i feel like those got really good reviews and so i was my interest was piqued when i saw that she was releasing eyeshadow palettes now uh that quickly faded when i saw the price they're 68 dollars a piece and they're six pans so i'm not going to get them i'm going to appreciate these for what they are from afar so yeah, they look really pretty. They do look beautiful and you can switch the pans out and like mix and match. So, you know, if you wanted to drop half your rent and get all of them, just kidding, nobody's rent is that cheap. But um, if you want to drop a 10th of your rent and get all of them, then you could do that, but maybe don't. 
Um, and then five velvet lip colors. Those are $36 a piece. I really want one though. Ooh, I'm gonna see what she's doing for Black Friday. Maybe they're on sale. Maybe, we'll see. Okay, and then there's some lip pencils if you're curious. All right, let's talk about, here's a Sigma set. This is with Karen Harris. This is her favorite set, and I think that's super fun. Um, I am really curious about the eyeshadow palette because it says Corderosa. I'm thinking it's probably her favorite shades from Corderosa. If that's the case, I already have this and I don't need it. Yeah, so there are seven warm shades from their iconic palette, which I was just using the other day and I do really like it. Um, the blush is a t is Tiger Lily. It's a blendable cheek color and a peachy gold metallic. A metallic? Metallic blush? Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then there's a couple of eyeshadow brushes. The E25 blending brush and the F36 tapered cheek brush, which is gorgeous. I've never... I've never described a brush as gorgeous but apparently i really want that um sigma is going to be doing a pretty amazing black friday sale so i think they're having 50 percent off like on black friday or maybe thanksgiving and black friday. i can't remember the dates but uh, i know that jen phelps has a video up about black friday deals and that was mentioned so um i'm a little curious about the cheek but probably don't need it i just filmed my blush to clutter which I haven't edited. I haven't even approached editing with it yet because it overwhelms me. Um, so I'm kind of not wanting to get much as far as cheek products go. Like it's gotta be something that I am obsessed with. And this I think is really pretty, but I probably don't need it. And like I said, Corderosa I already have. Don't need that. But the brushes, the brushes I might be curious about. I am curious about them and I might pick them up. It's just gonna depend. Okay. I don't know. Can you get this not in a set? No, I bet it. You have to get the whole the whole set. I think, and it's eighty four dollars. I do really like Karen Harris. I think she's super sweet, and I like her videos quite a bit. Um. Okay. <laughs> this one. Huh. I saw the teasers for this, and I saw the brand name, and it didn't register. So I think that goes to show. Nothing that they've released has really stood out to me, but this is Nimya. This is Nikki Tutorials brand. Um, I don't love it. I don't. This is their eyeshadow palette. It's called The Palette. The. The Palette. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, like that sets the bar real high. That name. If it's the palette, like the only one, the one that you need, the palette, and this is the color story. I don't understand. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Um, I hate it. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't be so mean. And I'm not trying to be mean. I, I'm sure she worked really hard on this. Um, we got nine mattes, six shimmers. I just don't like the color story. I don't like orange and blue together, I don't think. I think that's what the problem is. I just, mm, mm I don't love it, but I bet you can make some gorgeous looks out of it. I bet I could make some gorgeous looks out of it. I just, I don't think so. I'm gonna pass. Um, and it looks like other people are saying the same. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, there's four comments and everybody said no. Okay. Next. Oh, here's the other color pop one that I wanted to talk about. So this is their control alt delete. Pa oh, that was the palette. This is, it's in collaboration with. I thought it was a collaboration. Am I stupid? Marial? I, I, maybe not. I don't know what that is. I thought that was a person. Um, anyway, I, maybe not. Uh, so we've got a 12 pan palette that looks gorgeous. Uh, I almost said yes to this, but then I saw swatches and um, it's okay. It's okay. I think, 
<coughs> sorry. I'm getting sick. My two-year-old has been coughing right in my face. It's just, yeah, it's a matter of time at this point before I'm, I'm down. But um, so we've got, what was I? Oh, I don't know what I was saying before I got a tickle in my throat. Easily distracted and thoughts just fly right on out of my head. Um, if it's between the, the three eyeshadow palettes that ColourPop has recently released that all of which have intrigued me, I'm probably going to go with the Muppets and the Chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Because really, the only shade in here that I'm like, ooh, is that duochrome. There's like a lilac blue, frosty, beautiful duochrome that is gorgeous. But I, I think I have that in other palettes and I probably don't need it. Uh, but I have all of those other shades. And well, anyways, don't judge me. Um, so we've got the palette, 12 shades. No prices. Come on, girl. Um, we've got some Super Shock blushes. Oh my God. I do love, <laughs> I love the Super Shock blush formula. I really want them. I want all of them. Don't need them. Oh, but I want them. Uh, then we got some Luxe Cream lipsticks. Those are the lipsticks that I usually can handle. Usually they, they work fine for me. Um, so Glassy Lip Gloss. I've never, I don't know that I've ever had used that. Then we got some, some liners. That's cool. Oh, and some face crystals. If you like crystallizing, bedazzling your cheekbones, do it. Anyways, I'm pretty sure this is available now because this released um, a hot minute ago. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty. Okay. This one. This is old news at this point. I know. But this is the... Uh, my cat is doing something. Bananas. Uh, so Kylie Cosmetics. All right. Let's talk about this. It's a Wizard of Oz collection. Apparently, I'm getting really excited about the um, collaborations with some of these more nostalgic sort of entities. Entities. I. Mm, what's the word? I don't know. Intellectual property. Right? That's what that is. Anyways, um, we've got an eyeshadow palette. Well, it's a face and eye palette, which I will say, okay, those bottom pans, those are the face shades. Those are some skinny little pans that nobody's going to get their brush into, which is obnoxious. We got 12 eyeshadows, two face products, a matte lip paint set, which I am, why am I curious about that? I don't even like matte lips, uh, but they, it looks like we've got a pink, a nude, and a red. Dude, if you're doing a red lip, yeah, that's where matte lips are handy. Um, and then a metallic lipstick, which initially I was like, oh no, I don't think so. But then I saw swatches and it's actually not bad. And then a transformative lip tint, which is a glossy, like it's a green gloss that I do kind of want. So yeah, I, this might be the Kylie products that pull me in. They might. I don't know the prices. I literally just said that you have been putting prices up here and now here you are not doing that. So not nice makeup releases radar. Um, I would like to see swatches. Are there, maybe there are swatches. I feel like she usually releases swatches. Oh, and there's a brush set. Nope, no swatches, no such luck. Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm very curious about that. Don't know if I'll buy it, but I'm curious about it. Ooh. Oh, this one, okay. This is not makeup. This is skincare. Skincare. Yeah, that's skincare. Hand cream. Hand cream. Sol de Janeiro is releasing the Brazilian Touch Chirosa. Ugh. 71 hand cream. I don't know what the 71 is. It's limited edition. It's a decadent caramelized vanilla and toast and macadamia nut scent. Delicious. Um, don't eat it. Anyways, yes. You can bet your butt I'm buying this. Uh, we have officially entered frigid temperatures. It's not that cold. It's like 30. That's not that bad. Uh, but the air is very, very dry. And I, my skin is pissed. Especially my hand skin because I wash my hands a lot because COVID. And just being a mom. And even before COVID, I was washing my hands a lot. Anyways, but oh, yeah. Sorry. 
my cat is walking around again. My coffee pot is turning off. We're just, there's a lot of background noise and distractions. I apologize. Mm, what, what I was saying was my hands are dry and I have become a hand cream connoisseur. And yes, I am buying this. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't even have to smell it. I just know that it's going to be beautiful. It's $16. I hesitate to even talk about this because it's just too freaking much and I feel overwhelmed just looking at it. But Kiko Milano, in true Kiko Milano fashion, is releasing a buttload of products all at one time. I Do they, how, mm. I don't know that I love their business model. I, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like they've come out with these massive collections and then they don't continue making them. I, I don't know. Um, uh, anyways, so this is their Joyful Holiday Collection. We've got three Bright Dream eyeshadow palettes. So I think those are at the top of this first picture, $19.99 a piece. Then you've got the All You Need Face Palette, which I don't see pictured. Um, it says that that's $25.99 a piece. Very confusing because I, I don't know. Um, we've got some blush duos. I don't see any duos. Maybe that's what these are with the stars in the middle. I bet that is. Um, and then we got some baked bronzers for nineteen ninety nine a piece. And then we've got two shimmer dream highlighters. Some single shadows. Those look really pretty actually. Some um, lip stylos. Some. Sparkling, I think it was sparkling. Sparkling lips, lipsticks, um, more lipsticks, some eye pencils, some nail polish, some more nail polish. <laughs> oh, there's so much, it's crazy. Some mascara, a glowy face primer, a matte powder, more shadows, a serum, a body scrub, a face mask, a face cream, and then. The cherry on top, we've got a new foundation. Eight shades, that's all you need, apparently, according to Kiko Milano. Uh, ooh. I'm very curious, I'm very curious. It's a brand that I've been curious about for a long time. I might go ahead and purchase some things. I really wanna try the foundation and get the shade closest to my skin tone, just to see, will it work? Uh, and what is the shade range? I have no idea. Anyways, I don't know where these are available, but they're available somewhere. Okay, now also, here is this. This one, I don't like it. I don't... <laughs> I'm not going to say that. I don't dislike it. I like Give Me Glow a lot, so I don't want to say anything bad about it. But Give Me Glow is releasing this Haunted Pumpkin Eyeshadow Palette. It's releasing on Black Friday. That's what I don't like about it. I don't... Wait, why? 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 Why are we releasing it on Black Friday and not on... Halloween or a few days before Halloween, like a two weeks before Halloween so people could get it in time and wear it on Halloween and be like, oh, I'm wearing haunted pumpkin on my eyes. I don't know. Um, anyway, I, I don't, it's just, it's not a color story that I, I would get. That's all. But I do love that they came out with the Halloween palette and I would like to see them do that more. I feel like they haven't been coming out with much. I don't know what's going on with them. I hope they're okay. All right, I feel like this might be where we need to leave it because there's just, I could talk and talk and talk and talk and talk some more, but I don't really know that I want to. Okay, yeah. That's where I'm going to leave it for today. I've been filming for 35 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and hopefully get this like chopped down to a, like the 30 minute mark. That would be great. Um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, I hope that you would consider subscribing before you go. Give me a thumbs up and come back. I try to upload one to two times a week. That's usually, that's about where we're at in life these days and that's fine. So anyways, again, thank you so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye.